Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my series professional video production on a shoestring budget. I've got another video for you on the Phantom today. Um, today I want to talk about the course lock feature that you find in the intelli intelligent orientation control on the controller. Um, to, to access these features, course lock and home lock, you have to download the NASA software. I've got a video that I posted uh, talking about downloading the software and some of the other features that you'll find in the software. It's actually worth doing. But first of all, let's just let's get into the course lock feature. The thing you have to realize about course lock, and this is a bit more of a, an advanced uh, feature, what you have to realize about course lock is that it is, it's relative to the orientation of the drone when it, when it uh, records its home point. So we know that the, the light on the back, we know that's our tail, and we know that the uh, battery compartment is our, is our nose, the front of the drone. That's the direction that your camera's pointing. That's your forward-facing uh, direction of the drone. Um, sometimes when we get out there and we start playing with some maneuvers and, and the drone gets turned around, of course, everything on the control is, is backwards. Um, you know, our, our, our pulling backward on the joystick makes it go, you know, towards us. And you know what I'm talking about, blah, blah, blah. It's all backwards on the controller. Um, so what you can do to sort of help you with that is when you're in flight, um, you can switch it into course lock on the IOC switch on the left. And what that will do is it will change the way your controls react in terms to the drone. So if the nose, now if you've got it in course lock and the nose is pointing at you, when you pull back on the joystick, the drone's going to come towards you. Just like in normal, you know, just like normal if the light was facing you and you pull back, the drone's going to come towards you. When it's in course lock, if the nose is pointing at you, you pull back, it'll come towards you. And right will mean right, left will mean left. It'll all make, it'll all make sense. Okay, so our, our drone's warmed up and uh, we're all ready to go. As I said in the intro, course lock is relative to the position of the drone uh, when it does its GPS lock, etc. So right now there's the flashing light, the tail, the nose. So forward's going to be away from me, and uh, the back is going to be straight back towards the camera. So uh, let's give this a try. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to keep the drone real close, so you can sort of see how this works. I've got a real tight area here. If you're going to just, you know, just learning how to use this, you want to be in a, you know, you'd want to give yourself more room. But for the demonstration. I'm going to keep it real close and go real slow. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to switch in the course lock. The blinking green. You've got a yellow there now. And let's just see how this is going to perform for us. So forward, of course, is forward. Side to side. Let's see what happens when I rotate it now. Now, the nose is pointing towards me, and right's right. And see the angle it's going at? That's because it's, it's just, it wants to go right where it was when I locked it up, when I warmed it up. So now I'm going back, and it's coming towards me with the nose. Left, left, right, right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. One of the features of course lock is you can change the orientation while in flight, so let's try that. I'm going to rotate the nose in a different direction here. And I'm going to switch back and forth five times. I'm going to see, I want to, I'm going to rotate it so I can see that flashing light. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's see if that worked. If I go forward now, it should go way back in that direction. And there it goes. I'm going forward and it's going in that direction that I just reoriented at. Coming back, same thing, left. Yeah, it's working real good. That's just what it's supposed to do in course lock, guys. I'm going to bring it back towards me here so you can see it. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to redo the orientation again for, I want to show you what you can do with this course lock feature. So I'm going to redo the orientation again, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now it should be oriented more towards the camera. 
So one of the things you could do with this, let's say you were trying to follow a runner around an oval track. You could be following them out there a little bit and you could rotate as he comes around the track, you can follow him back to the starting point. Rotate again. And follow him back up the track. So that's one of the applications you can do with this. Um, of course, you know, it's, it, it has a lot of other good applications just when you're out there flying in general. So practice that. Give yourself lots of room. I'm a little bit tight here. Let's bring it in. I got a bit of wind here. So there you go, course lock. Um, I think that's a pretty cool feature, especially if you're trying to follow somebody around a track, or maybe you want to shoot a car moving. Um, obviously not that fast, but you know, you can get beside it and then you can get out in front of it and shoot the cars that's coming towards you. Pretty cool, you know, pretty cool stuff. So practice that. Give yourself more room than I've got here. This is just my private property. I like it kind of tight. Just a couple of quick notes. Again, to access course lock and home lock in the IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control, you have to download the NASA M software and uh, enable it at that software. I've showed you that in one of my videos. Also, where home lock only works in GPS, course lock will work in GPS and ATTI, the attitude, uh, attitude control, the manual mode. Um, so there you go, folks, course lock. Another uh, great feature of this little Phantom, DJI Phantom drone. So get out in the field and practice that. Um, so thanks for watching. And you know the routine, subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos up here in the top corner, my professional video production course and, and a couple of videos on the drone. I've got a Hubson video as well. I've got a Hubson X4, I've got a couple of videos on that. So check out my channel. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.